210 Boxing TV, here are Mario Azteca Barrios. How you doing, man? See you back over here in Vegas. Yeah, man, not, uh, I mean, just working, you know, staying busy. Uh, figured, you know, fucking, why not come to Vegas, man? There's a lot of work here. I got um, a lot of my people here, my team. And uh, so, I mean, you know, it was just, it seemed like a, like a good move. Does it seem like you're coming back soon? You got a date or some kind of time frame when you might be coming back? No date, but um, and I'm definitely um, I'm gonna be back in the ring before uh, the year is over. So like I mean, I figured you know why not come out here, you know, start getting ready. That way, whenever you know they they tell me uh, a fight date, I mean I, I'm ready, fucking you know, starting off. So it's better to, to stay ready instead of having to, to get ready, then, right? Oh, absolutely, man. I, I've I've always stayed in the fucking gym regardless. I've been seeing you at Davies. That's what I'm saying. So I was surprised when I saw you here today. I was like, damn. I was like, you must have a fight coming up. Yeah, yeah, nah. So November, just, December, you think maybe something yeah, yeah, like that? Yeah, um, something like that. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, man. I just I stay busy, uh, and you know what 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 better city to stay busy in than in Las Vegas, Vegas or around around your people around Bobby, Joey and yeah, well, Joey's and the twins looking at the brothers like, man, there's a, like, so much fucking talent in here, dude it's a crazy, right? seeing the sparring and everyone and then you got like Adamus in the ring right now and you're crazy, yeah no, like, it's a trip, right? Like, just like so, many, so much fucking talent, man from like fucking like the smallest weight classes to like the heavyweights now, I was going to ask you how it is, um, you know, you being from San Antonio and seeing everybody rise <laughs> the younger guys like, you know, Little Ricky or Ricky Nunez Jr., Toro and now, of course, Bam. Bam's on a fight this Saturday. You've known Bam forever. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Bam and his rise? Man, um, all those dudes, dude. Like, I, I get chills fucking uh, hearing about it, man. Because, again, these are all, you know, from, from Bam, you know, to Brother Josh, uh, Rick Medina, now Little Ricky Toro. Like, I've seen all these fucking kids, man, grow up and fucking, you know, just, like, amount, you know, to being a great young fighter who's fucking badass, you know. But Bam, you know, he, he's... He has his fight this weekend, man. I'm fucking pumped for that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to be there in, uh, in attendance. And um, so, you know, man, just super stoked, you know, for everything he has unfolded for himself, you know, in his career and everything. And it's, it's just been beautiful, man. Again, just knowing, you know, like, I, I go way back with these dudes, you know, from when I was, like, 10, 12 years old, you know. Now seeing them fucking, you know, just succeed yeah. like that, man. Because I've seen a picture with you. It was you, I think you, Josh, Rick Medina, and, and Bam. And then Bam's like the littlest one. Yeah, yeah, nah, man. Fucking Rick, Rick Medina and Bam, they were always like, like they always fought like one weight class apart from each other. So like 60, 65 pounds, 70, 75. But man, they'll be fucking like hella little, right? Yeah, dude, it was funny, man. It's like, but it was funny, yeah, back then it was just like us four. Like, we'll, we'll pull up to all these tournaments and, uh, Rep basically representing San Antonio, right? Yeah, man. And then it was crazy because even back then, like, we, like, we weren't winning all the tournaments and shit, but, you know, we would go out there and we, we all had our little styles and everything. And, uh, man, we would just show out, you know, fucking, it's cool. <coughs> now, I wanted to ask you, uh, the last fight you were there in attendance against Rungosai. And afterwards, you kept saying, "Man, he's different. He's different." Different, man. I've, I've, I've been saying, saying that about Bam man, since like before he turned pro. Like you said, man. Um, speaking on the fact from when you know when we were younger, dude, we would go to all these tournaments. Like I said, we wouldn't always win, but even like you know, like Bam, he was always like the fucking kid that was. 10, 11 years old, you know, using fucking angles and, you know, of course, then it's not appreciated because, you know, it's just about, you know, the uh, staying busy, staying busy. You know, throwing a lot of punches. Yeah, throwing a lot yeah. of punches, but man, like, you can see him when he was young, man, his movements, the way, like, his fucking boxing IQ, his counters, it was, it was there at a very early age, you know, so now, you know, uh, you know, like, the fan base, you know, he's growing, you know, and the, the name he has made for himself, um, a lot of people just see it, like, just see it from right now, you know, where he's at, but man, I've been I've been fortunate enough to see this shit since like since we were kids. So man, it's it's, it's fucking awesome. You know, like like I said. Did, did you expect him to beat down Rungvisai? I thought he was gonna win, but I was like he's gonna win by decisions because Rungvisai just he just don't get knocked out. Were you surprised that he just beat up on him like that? I was surprised. Um, I know going into that fight, you know, Bam's boxing IQ is fucking was was way higher. Um, and I mean, from like the first two or three rounds, it was very apparent, man. By like I say, round at like, the end of the round three or round four, you can just see uh, Rung Rung Savai, you know, his starting to wear down his, already. His whole demeanor, like like not even worn down, man. He was just like he gave up, like he like he just like he was all discouraged. Yeah, fucking yeah. Bam took like everything from him, and you know, and that level of fucking opposition, like it's so hard to, to like to do that to somebody. Let alone somebody who has been in there with, you know, the, like, all Chagra the greats, Tito all the and all those guys, yeah. All right, man, it's, it's so crazy, you know, the fucking statement that he made that night. And, um, you know, again, I, I was just, you know, happy to be in attendance, happy, you know, to be in support of, you know, my, my fucking brother, Bam. Um, it was awesome, man. Uh, man, what, I was going to ask you, does it, does it feel good knowing that y'all support each other like that? Like, 
you know, in the streets, the promoters, managers, some of them might hate on each other, but as far as the fighters go, all of y'all, man, y'all, y'all get together so, y'all get along together so good, man. Yeah, no, man, like I said, it, um, and, you know, that just goes, you know, to the relationship that we all had, you know, when, when we were kids. Um, you know, of course, you know, whenever we got a little bit older, you know, 15, 16, 17, that's when all of us kind of, you know, start going our separate ways, you know, with our dad, our coaches and everything. Exactly. But, uh, you know, regardless. Y'all man, still that, kept touch somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Not always, man. That, that support, that fucking love has always been there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking thankful for it, man. You know, again, I see Bam, I see Josh all the time. Um, and it, it's always love, man. You know, like, they're, they're dudes I consider fucking family. Like, like I, I chill with them even outside of boxing, man. With, like, fucking me and Josh would go get, get breakfast and shit. Yeah, I think uh, Bam's brother Mike was like, yeah, uh, uh, Mario came by the came by the pool the other day and, and stuff like that. You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, like like, yeah. Like, Bam's brother Mike. I be seeing him at the apartment all the time, man. We, yeah. we, just, we just be kicking it like that's that again that's that like love that goes way back now real quick canelo triple g this weekend you got any predictions or thoughts on the fight um i think uh the canelo gonna take it man um i feel like right now you know like he's just do you think triple g's too old that's what everybody keeps saying they're like you know, i think i think so too man like you know like i mean he's so great don't get me wrong but you know like you could definitely see like a, a difference you know like the like last couple fights and um the fucking the fighter that Canelo is right now, man, you know, he's just really taking things to the next level. Even coming off of, you know, the the um the Bavol loss. You feel um, like they can't write him off even though he lost? Nah, fuck no, dude. Man, it's like, <laughs> that was such a crazy fight to begin with for him to be going out there and fighting like Bavol like that. Like, it's not like he lost to just like fucking like nobody. Like, he yeah. lost to a great fighter at a way heavier weight than he's used to fighting. 